Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. Today we're going to show you how to set up an APA paper, that's American Psychological Association format paper, set it up in Word and save it as a document template so that you can use it and reuse it every time that you start a new paper for, for your next assignment. First thing you want to do is you want to set it up to true double spacing because by default, Word does not set up your paper to be truly double spaced. So first thing we do is go to this paragraph applet right here and on this on the home ribbon. We click this down arrow right here and on this first page, indents and spacing, we come down here and this eight points right here puts an extra eight points of space after the last line of a paragraph and before it starts the next paragraph. So we want to get rid of that. Then we want to change this to double space and we leave this at blank. The next thing you want to set is your indentation because APA format has you indent the first line of each paragraph. So we're going to indent the first line and it'll automatically set it for a half inch, which is exactly what we want. Let's click OK here. Next thing that you want to do is you want to put a page number in the header. So I'm going to go to the Home tab here and I'm going to double click and it brings you to the header and footer ribbon tab and I'm going to insert a page number and I'm going to do it at the, the top of the page and I want just a plain number. Now I want this plain number to be a specific font. Now we'll get to talking about fonts here in a minute but we'll, I'm going to change it to Times New Roman because I'm going to set the rest of the document to Times New Roman and I want it to be 12 points. Now the key here is whatever font you choose for your entire document, the page number also needs to be that same font. Now, since I'm on the Home tab here and I've chosen my font, I also want to write justify that page number. And that gets the page number. Now, in previous versions of APA, it also had you put your last name next to the page number. And in the professional version, like when you're doing a dissertation or a professional paper to be submitted to a journal or something like that, you would also put what they call a running head over on the left-hand side. But for a student paper, we usually leave those two things off. So I'm going to double-click out of the header, and notice now I have my page number set up. Now, the next thing is that I need a title page. I already have it set to double space, so I'm going to hit my Enter key four different times, and I'm going to then want to center my title on that part of the page. So I'm going to hit the center button here, but notice that it's not truly centered. Truly centered would be right here at three and a quarter, and it's at three and a half, and that's because we have a half an inch devoted to our indent. So for the title page, I want to move that little thing out equal with the margin so that I get my title right here in the center. And I'm going to want my title bolded because that's one of the requirements. So my title here. Now, I forgot to go back and change my font here to Times New Roman, like I said I was going to do. And I wanted to make it 12. Okay, now, so my title is bolded, it's there, it's there in the center, and I'm going to hit enter twice to begin putting in the rest of the items that are on my title page. Now, I don't want the rest of it to be bolded, but I do want next to put in my name, uh, which you would put in your name here because you're creating a template for yourself, and your course number, and the instructor name and then the date of the, that the paper is due. So now you have your paper all set up. Now, I've done this all manually as far as selecting the font. Now I'd like to go to address the font issue. APA version seven gives you several choices of fonts. 
the default for Word is Calibri 11 point, and that is an acceptable font as far as one of the suggested primary fonts that APA 7 can use. You can also use Arial 11 point, Lucinda 10 point, or Times New Roman 12 point, which is what I chose, Georgia 11 point, or Computer Modern 10 point. Now, what the real specification is in the manual is that it be a legible, clear font. You wouldn't use something like Comic Sans or a handwriting type of font. You would use a font that is kind of normal that you'd expect to find if you, if you bought a book from the bookstore and opened it up. You'd find that kind of a font in that book, okay? At the bottom here, you're going to hit enter after your date, and you're going to have the next text start on the next page. So you're going to come over here to the Insert tab and go and insert a page break. Now, you don't want to just hit Enter, 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 Enter until you get to the top of the next page. For one, sometimes you miss that top of the page, and it doesn't look like you've got a one-inch margin, and you can get an instructor who's picky like me just picking at the fact that you've got too big of a margin at the top, and he'll think you're trying to cheat by slimming down the number of words you have to write. So page break puts you right back at the top of the page. Now notice you're still in the center and notice we're still not indenting. Well, that's okay because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this title and we're going to put that right here where we've put our page break. Okay because you always start the main page with the title of your paper. Now, here's where we start the body of our paper. Here's where we're going to actually start writing the introduction to our paper and start developing our thoughts. And to do that, we need to set the rest of the paper up to be regular body text, okay? So I'm going to go back to my home page here. And now I'm going to think I'm going to edit what they call the normal style for this paper. When I clicked on normal here, notice it went all the way to the left. What I want to do is I want to modify this normal so that it matches what I want for the rest of my paper. And so I'm going to click on this little arrow here to get styles to come here as a side panel. Then I'm going to click this down arrow, click modify. You'll notice that down here, it tells you what the main items are. For one, it has the default of Calibri, which is what, you know, I said the default for Word was. It also has it that it's 11 point and that its line spacing is multiple 1.08. So all the things that we changed are things that are in this normal style. And what I want to do now is I want to change those two things. I'm going to click on format here, then I'm going to click on font. I am going to go here and I want this to be Times New Roman. So I'm going to choose that top one and I want it to be 12 point and it's going to be regular. And now I'm going to click OK. I don't want to set it as default. And I'll tell you why here in a moment. And then I'm going to click on Format again and go down to Paragraph. And you'll recognize this dialog box. I want to change this to zero. And I want to change this over here to double. And I want to change my indent to first line. And when I click OK, you'll notice the, the sample here in the text box it kind of shows you the way things uh, are to work. And then I click OK. That normal style is set to my font. It has the right indentation. Everything's good, okay? Now, what I want to do now is this is where I will start writing my text. And I'm going to hit Enter. It'll bring me to the next paragraph, which is also indented. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert another page break because now what I want to do is create a placeholder for my references page. And to do that, I will go ahead and out indentation here so that it centers. I will go to the Home tab here. I'll hit Center, and I want to put the word References. 
the references page is what they call a hanging indent page. So I'm going to go left justify this. And I also want to go back to my paragraph here. And I want to make an exception on this page. It stays at double space. But I'm going to change this to hanging indent. And notice what it looks like here. The first line is out and the second and third and fourth, however many lines after that in the one reference are going to be in. So when I put a reference in here, it will automatically flow and be a hanging indent. Now you've set up all the things that you need for a paper to be formatted for 99% of everything you need. All you need now is to make sure that you know how to reference put an in-text citation into your paper, and how to build your references on the, the last page. The last step here is you have to go File, and you want to Save As. And I'm going to click on Browse here, because that'll give me my dialog box here, because I don't want to save this as a document. I want to save this as a document template. Word template here, okay? So it's going to be a DOTX, and I'm going to say that this is going to be APA7 template. When you start your papers now, you'll go to this template and you'll double click on it to get started. Now, by default, Word opens what they call the normal.dotx template. But in order for you to select another template, all you have to do is go to a different document and double click on that template and it'll open it up and all those settings will be there for you. And now when I want to then save my content of this template, I do the next thing I do is a file save as or just file save as, yes. And I can save it as a document, docx, and I can give it a correct name and my paper is, is saved in the new format. All right. Hope hope you've enjoyed this and uh, hope you come back and see us again sometime soon. Thanks.